CII News. The commission made over 350 recommendations. 202 were for criminal and other investigations. 27 were recommendations for the recovery of assets. 15 were referrals to other state bodies. 11 were referrals to professional and regulatory bodies. Five recommendations propose constitutional changes. 26 recommendations propose legislative changes. 64 recommendations requiring regulatory changes. Investigating Directorate has to date enrolled 26 cases, declared 89 investigations, and 165 accused persons have appeared in court for alleged state capture-related offenses. Granted freezing or preservation orders to the value of 12.9 billion rand. A total of 2.9 billion rand has been recovered and returned to the affected entities and SARS has collected 4.8 billion rand in unpaid taxes to address concerns about the independence of the NPA. Legislative amendments will introduce greater transparency and consultation in the selection an appointment of the National Director. Commission made detailed recommendations about the establishment of an independent public procurement anti-corruption agency. It also recommended the establishment of a permanent anti-corruption commission that would have oversight over both Parliament and the Executive. A comprehensive proposal on an effective and integrated anti-corruption institutional framework will be produced for public consultation finalization and implementation. With respect to procurement reform, the Public Procurement Bill, which is expected to be finalized by March 2023, will address many of the Commission's recommendations. As recommended by the Commission, lifestyle audits for the President, Deputy President, Ministers and Deputy Ministers is being managed by the Director General in the Presidency. Government accepts the Commission's recommendations on the need for a process for the appointment of boards of state-owned enterprises that is not open to manipulation. This would include the involvement of independent panels with appropriate technical expertise to recommend suitable candidates to the relevant minister. No board member will be allowed to be involved in procurement processes. Ministers will be prohibited from playing any role in procurement within state-owned enterprises or departments. To address some of the abuses by private companies, Amendments will be made to criminalize donations to political parties in expectation of state contracts to bar suppliers who have engaged in dishonest or corrupt behavior and to make failure to prevent bribery and offense. We will implement all the Commission's extensive recommendations on the intelligence services together with the recommendations of the high-level review panel on the SSA chaired by Professor Sidney Mufamadi. A new General Intelligence Law Amendment Bill will implement many of the Commission's recommendations. The Department of Justice is reviewing the Protected Disclosures Act and Witness Protection Act to give effect to the Commission's recommendations on the protection of whistleblowers. This will ensure, among others, that whistleblowers receive the protections afforded by the UN Convention Against Corruption in exercising my powers with respect to members of the executive, I'm required to consider the Commission's findings, recommendations and observations about particular individuals. In this regard, I am attending to the Commission's recommendations and observations on members of the executive against whom adverse findings were made. Deputy President David Mabuza, who is the leader of government business, will interact with Parliament's presiding officers on the Commission's recommendations on the interface between Parliament and the Executive. To ensure that Parliament is sufficiently resourced to hold the Executive to account, the National Treasury will engage with Parliament to determine the most appropriate way to give effect to the Commission's recommendations on the funding of Parliament.